Uh, uh, that's the show. Hey Sam, yes. what is big, green and fuzzy and would kill you if it fell out of a tree? Big green elephant. A pool table. Why is it covered in eyes? Look, it's just there, it's all... Cruel me! I'm a big believer in a philosophy that even the simplest game concept can be turned into something absolutely beautiful. A simple puzzle game doesn't need to be dull or presented in a stock standard manner with boring background music in the same way that a more complicated action adventure piece doesn't have to be all swords and monsters. It's good to take chances, risk making mistakes, and potentially doing something a bit messy. This week I'm looking at an adorable puzzle offering developed and published by Gamius. Let's talk about Lines. Self-described as a zen puzzle experience, Lines is a beautiful mixture of abstract minimalism and spatial logic, where your ability to map out cause and effect in a 2D plane is tested by a flood of colour. Each level you're presented with features a predefined shape made up of a series of interconnected lines and some colourful dots. After placing or removing additional dots, or performing some other actions depending on the game mode, the dots burst to life, pouring their colour at a fixed pace through the lines until the whole shape is flooded. Your goal is to ensure that the colour you represent occupies the majority of the space available. What I love about this is that it's incredibly easy to pick up, and even though every scenario that you're presented with is winnable, it's not always immediately obvious exactly which choices will lead to your victory. You really have to think about what the distances between dots and junctions, and how the different colours on the playing field are going to interact, means. Add to this a vibrant colour palette, creative level design, and an almost improv-like piano soundtrack that seems to be generated by the way that colours fill the shape, and you've got instant puzzle appeal. From an accessibility standpoint, Lines doesn't really have much going for it, but to be honest, it's so simplistic that it doesn't really need much. With a single button interface, no speech or sound effects to caption, no special effects to take into consideration, and no non-core mechanics, it really is as minimal as you can get. It does have a night mode, which functions similar to the setting in Twitter, and in my opinion, makes things much easier on the eyes. Speaking of the eyes though, it would be nice if there were colorblind settings, as the ability to distinguish between colors is essential to your victory. It's great to see that Lions has both Twitch integration and the ability to create your own levels and share them on the Steam Workshop. It's also really interesting that each time you attempt a level, the placement of these starter dots is randomly generated. The devs have really done a great job to ensure that their creation has longevity. I'm almost slightly disappointed that there's no multiplayer mode because I think that working with, or against, other people to reach your colour field goals feels like it would be great fun, or at least it would cause some good arguments. Overall, I highly recommend lines to fans of logic puzzles, especially those seeking a way to stretch their spatial reasoning and logic skills in a unique and low pressure way. It's $5 on Steam, and there's a link in the description. Okay, I need you to imagine the Guardian music from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild right now. morning. It's 6 a.m. and my alarm is going off. I rush to silence it, to avoid disturbing my boyfriend. I then proceed to lie in bed for the next 10 minutes at least. I know that I need to get up, but for some reason, I just 
can't make my body do it. It's like my personal starter motor is broken. Like, I know the end goal is to get up and get ready for work, but there are so many steps that this exercise and the whole thing is just overwhelming. This is the beginning of my morning routine with ADHD. When I eventually get up, I rummage about in my cupboard for the clothes I neglected to organize the night before. I throw them on and head to the bathroom, where I get annoyed with myself because I should have put on deodorant before I put my shirt on. Dang it! At least I don't forget to wash my hands after I pee. In the kitchen, I put my toast on and get my supplies ready to take to work. Yogurt, apple, salad, flatbed, dressing, fork. I'm pretty sure that's everything I need. I should double check just to make sure- Oh! The toast is done! A quick layer of peanut butter and- Oh hey! I've got time to play some Nintendo! Sweet! I get stuck into Zelda pretty quickly. Just a shrine and a few car arc puzzles and then I take the first bite of my toast and- It's cold? What's the time? Oh crumbs! I'm gonna be so late! I wolf down the toast and ran into the bathroom to finish getting ready. It only takes two minutes to brush your teeth, though I should be fine. Maybe. Except, once I get in there, I can't remember the steps for what I need to do. Another minute goes by as I try to organize my thoughts. Something's missing. My phone. Where did I put it? Pocket? Couch? Table? Kitchen? No. 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 Where? I don't have time for this. I'll find out later. I need to do my bathroom stuff first and... My phone was near the sink. I fire up the app that stops my getting lost in thought while I brush my teeth. Really, it makes sure I brush each error for 30 seconds exactly, but without it, I'd have gone the full two minutes on just a quarter of my teeth. Finally, my teeth are clean. I'm dressed, shoes, wait, something feels wrong. I ate, I'm dressed, I brush my teeth, I catch sight of myself in the mirror. Hair, I forgot to do my hair, so I wet it and, man, I'm thirsty. I go to get a drink of water. I'm glad I thought of this before I brush my, oh. Never mind. Back to the bathroom where I finally do my hair. Okay, now I'm ready, I'm sure. I go and say goodbye to my boyfriend. I never forget to do that. Put on my shoes, grab my lunch, and head out the door. Then I come back in because I forgot my office keys. But now, now I'm ready to go. Except that I get to the bottom of the stairs and realize I forgot my headphones, which are a major component of my coping mechanism for the open plan office at work. So I go up again, but this time, I've got to be ready, so I'm really quite late as it is, and I really hope I remembered to top up my Mikey on the weekend. The rest of my journey is pretty uneventful, except that come lunchtime, I realize I forgot to pack my tuna. Great. This is what it's like trying to organize yourself in the morning when you've got ADHD. Because routines don't form for us, things are easy to forget. Because we hyper-focus, we lose track of time on unimportant stuff. Because we don't have functional working memories, we lose track of what we're doing and misplace important items. And because of executive functions that are impaired, sometimes it's impossible to just take that first step. And it is important to note that this is a typical day. It's not a good day, and it sure as heck isn't a bad day. I've had days where I've gotten to work with my hair in complete bedhead mode, where I've forgotten all of my lunch stuff, where I've locked myself out all because I forgot my keys. I've had days where I've gotten halfway down the street and I'm still in my pajamas. On my worst days, I haven't been even able to get out of bed because I just can't take that first step. And that's what ADHD does. Now. I'd really like it if you told me your experiences in the comments. Bye-bye! When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. Why do I sound like Goofy? That would be even better. I want you to notice. When I'm not around, <laughs> you're so very special. I wish I were special, or I could do it as Mickey. But I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? Huh? I don't belong here.
Flood of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs>